Hi, Jimmy. Hi. What is resilient to you? Resilience? For what? On what? To me, it may sound a little bit weird, but uh, resilience to me is about opportunities. Because I got to know exactly what is not working well in my life. What is something that is not okay anymore? Then I will know exactly um, to build on that resilience on that particular area. So to me, it is an opportunity to break through to the next level. So resilience to me, somehow, uh, to me is an opportunity. Yeah, to me. Was there a difficult moment in your life, and how do you manage to overcome it? Um. Many actually, uh, uh, business failure in the uh, 1994, and a year later, at the age of 30 in 1995, I was made uh, bankrupt. And uh, um, two years later, in 1997, I went through divorce, and uh, I got a custody of my son Sean, while my ex-wife Dan got custody of my uh, daughter Demi, and um, and I thought that everything. Was okay, but uh, no. It seems like seems like uh, things just got worse. And um, about four years later, uh, in two zero zero three, Sean came back from school. He got a very bad uh, headache, and we we brought uh, him to the hospital. And uh, uh, doctor done a, a CT scan on on his brain, and they found there was a four cm tumor in his brain. And um, um, they have to push in for a, almost an immediate uh, operation. So um, after the operation, a week uh, later, the doctor uh, called me, in and I can still remember the pronouncement that uh, Sean was diagnosed with a last stage uh, brain uh, cancer. It was really very rare for a, a child, according to the doctor. But um, he fought, and uh, it was a very tough time for us. And uh, in 2004, um, he fought like almost, um, he fought like seven months, seven days. And uh, Sean uh, lost the battle, so he passed away at the age of uh, 11. And I still remember that time was my darkest hour, my most difficult time. But of course, I mean, I don't know what I was doing actually then, and... Um, no, I want to end my life, but uh, there was a three promises I promised him, so I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really um, end end my life. But uh, so my my life was still moving on, and uh, I still remember about ten months after he he passed away, and um, uh, was once I entertained my client, I got myself into trouble. I was uh, stopped by a police uh, uh, for drink driving, and I was inside the yeah, lockup and. Uh, that's why I done a lot of reflection about my life. I remember that after I was bailed out, um, and um, I was I was pretty lost at the time. Still, <laughs> I don't know what I'm what I'm going to do and what I was doing then. And that's why I met a friend, and uh, that was a turning point for me. And he sat down and um, he says that Jimmy, um, you know, what are you going to do with your life? And that's where. I started to, you know, think very deeply about what I'm going to do with my life. Then I knew that actually it's not about what I have done or I could have done or should have done anymore. It is about really what I want. Uh, what can I do? And what will I do to get what I want? So to me, resilience is about opportunity to understand that what is something that is not working well and work on that particular Area I can just forget about all my dreams, my big dreams, but to work on this, that, that, that one area, to build resilience on the one area, what do I really want in the area, what level, what, how, how to create that breakthrough on that area. And if I can't even handle that area, I can forget about my big dreams. So that's, I, I felt that oppo- um, resilience is an opportunity <laughs> for me to break through to the next level. Yeah. Thank you.